Stuttgart 21 is a transport hub at the heart of Europe, reconfiguring how railways pass through Stuttgart's center with tunnels, bridges, and a dramatic new park. But it's been 27 years since that journey began, and the promise of financial gain has clashed head-on with the realities of completing the project. Discover the top five interesting facts about Stuttgart Railway Project in this video. Starting our count from the top five, number five. Stuttgart 21 is a massive project on every level. Railway projects don't get more monumental than this. Chiefly, the central station in the heart of Germany's sixth largest city is being converted from an overground terminal to an underground hub where trains can travel without stopping beneath the city. This will entail replacing 16 overground terminus platforms with eight subterranean through platforms running in four directions, as well as constructing a seven-story building on an entirely new foundation to house several new underground tracks. Also, there will be 16 tunnels and cuttings built, as well as 18 new bridges. Three smaller stations are also being built throughout the city, as well as lines to Stuttgart's airport and exhibition center. The Stuttgart 21 is, without a doubt, a massive project at the heart of Europe's transportation hub. Nonetheless, the project is a waste of public funds that has sparked public outrage. We'll show you how the Stuttgart Railway project is a sinkhole of public funds in the coming minutes. Number four, the project is extreme complex. The project's extreme complexity started with a relatively straightforward goal. Stuttgart's central station was designed as a terminus rather than a through station from the beginning. While this may have made sense at the time, it now contradicts the city's status as a major business and manufacturing center, as well as one of the main stops on the continental high-speed rail route connecting Paris and Bratislava. Multiple lines enter and exit the station in their current configuration, forcing passengers on longer journeys to change trains and international services to reverse back up the line. The goal of Stuttgart 21 is to solve this problem by transforming the station into a major and well-connected through hub in Europe's heartland. The Stuttgart Railway project, despite its complexity, has faced many downpours, which has caused it to be delayed in completion, despite the fact that it is expected to solve the city's transportation problems. In the coming moments, you'll get a much more detailed look at the timeline for the Stuttgart Railway project. Number three, the Stuttgart 21 Railway project is delayed by lizards. The multi-billion euro Stuttgart 21 project in southern Germany is up against a new threat. Two endangered lizard species, cost overruns and disagreements over environmental concerns and viability have already stymied the project. Along the route of the Stuttgart 21 project, tens of thousands of sand and wall lizards have been discovered. It's part of a 35-mile network of new lines for the Trans-European Rail Network which also includes a major upgrade to Stuttgart's central station. If you're enjoying this video, kindly subscribe to Travel Buzzer, the ultimate travel channel, to join our community for more exclusive content, including travel tips, destinations, and beautiful places to visit. Moving on, Deutsche Bahn, one of the project's main players, estimates that resettling the reptiles will cost around $16.4 million. In Europe, the lizards in question are considered endangered. Sand lizards, a sexually dimorphic reptile with eye-shaped markings that lounges on rocks and sleeps in holes, and several thousand wall lizards, a small brown-gray reptile that is typically found on walls and stones. You never know what might get in the way, and in a mega-project like the Stuttgart 21 Railway Project, lizards were clearly the last thing on the list to give the project a little boost in hype. What do you think of this? Please share your thoughts on this with us in the comments below. Number 2. Stuttgart 21 Railway Project's Timeline Although the project was first announced in 1994, with a cost estimate of $3.46 billion, construction did not begin until 2010. Problems and delays, as well as widespread public outrage, have dogged Stuttgart 21. Despite being scheduled to open in 2021, the project did not open on time. The completion date was pushed back twice, first to 2022 and then to 2025. German Rail's contentious and ambitious Stuttgart 21 project is now making steady progress despite stiff opposition, funding disputes and delays. 
The project will significantly alter the rail network in the Stuttgart area when it is completed in 2025. Do you think the project will meet the new timeline? If yes, give us a thumbs up and if no, give us a thumbs down. Number 1. The Stuttgart 21 Railway Project is a sinkhole of public funds. The project's initial value is calculated to be approximately $3.5 billion, but by 2009, financial support from the state of Baden-Württemberg, the city of Stuttgart, the Stuttgart Transport Association BBS, Stuttgart Airport, and German Rail had raised it to $54.5 billion. However, costs continued to rise, with DB blaming higher than expected contractor prices on a building boom. Nonetheless, Deutsche Bahn was adamant about moving forward, and he began work in 2010. This enraged the opposition even more, resulting in violent protests. Only after a referendum in 2011, in which the project was approved, could work begin in earnest. Although there are still protests, they are far less serious than before, thanks to a public relations campaign that includes guided tours of the construction sites and a multimedia exhibition in the station's iconic square tower. Despite this, costs continue to rise, with a total cost of $7.5 billion officially estimated in March 2013. The supervisory board of Deutsche Bank approved a $9.3 billion financing framework for Stuttgart on January 26, 2018. According to Professor Dr. Christian Botcher, the problem with Stuttgart 21 is that it has become a politically symbolic project. Those in favor see it as a necessary step in changing how people travel through the region, while those oppose site budget and environmental concerns and claim the project is unrealistic and poorly designed. It's a debate that's been going on for nearly two decades. I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. Please stick around for our next video on Top 7 Most Developing Cities in the World. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.